This is Under the Dirt. I'm Six Serenity. And I'm Rotten Ryan. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Uh, you always just sound so grumpy. I don't know. It's funny. You think I'm rotten for a reason, don't you? Uh, yes, you are rotten. 100%. I am grumpy. Always grumpy. Well, today is 4th of July, people. Yay. Annoying fireworks. Like, I, I, don't, uh, I don't understand the concept of 4th of July. I get why we have it, but it's not... The reason we should have 4th of July and the way people celebrate makes no goddamn sense. No, it really doesn't. It's just that everybody makes it a reason to, oh, I'm gonna get drunk. Every fucking holiday is a reason for someone to drink. Yeah. Yeah, or somebody's birthday. Yeah. Like, or, uh... You, you get drunk every day of your life, every day of the year. Why do you have to have some <laughs> holiday to get even more drunk? <laughs> I mean, it's turning into every holiday, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, Memorial Day. Like, every fucking holiday we need to drink. Halloween. <laughs> kid's birthday. Like, Jesus Yeah, it's my Christ. kid's fifth birthday. I'm just getting a, plastered. You, at that point, you just have a fucking drinking problem. We don't need a holiday. You just have a drinking problem. Yeah. Like the boat at work. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we work with... Uh, Dude, shit faced by lunchtime every day. Oh my god, and then he's yelling. Singing off cue like a oh fucking Oh god. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so 4th of July sucks. There's no point to the day other than to celebrate, I guess. What was it? The Our Pearl, Independence was that Day. The, that wasn't, when, when was the uh, Pearl Harbor? That was. That wasn't 4th uh, of July, was it? That no, was like Christmas no, no. or in December, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like 19 something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not good with dates. I don't school and, well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't school well. That's good. But yes, it's Independence Day. We became an independent country, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. It was real independent. Got to watch what I say now and watch who I say things to and don't want to offend anybody. I don't care who you are, what you are, what you do. Just I shut just, the fuck up and be it and shut up about it. I want to hear about it. I want to see fucking commercials and all this shit. I don't give a fuck what yeah. you're into. Either you're just straight. straight, whatever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Just do it and shut up about it. It's just like I do. Yeah. I mean... I don't it, plaster everywhere that I bang out fucking girls every day. To you know? be honest, yes. Yes. Jesus Christ. It, you don't walk around... I don't walk around talking about, I'm straight, I'm straight. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Do what, you makes happy. Do what makes you happy, but... I don't need to see it and hear about it every five fucking seconds. Right. It's just being... We're getting too <clears throat> flooded with it. They're, uh, with everything. Yeah, with everything. Whether it's, you know, uh, what you're fucking or what you've become or what you are, what you want to be or what you aren't or are when you're born. Like, we're born yeah. one thing or the other. That's just facts. Uh, I mean... That's just in you your DNA. change like, that. Unless you can get your DNA changed, you're either male or female. That just sucks. That's, that's how it is. Back to bone rips. <laughs> But then if it's not about like, you know, the being watching what you say to certain people, it's, uh, do you, or usually it's politics. Yeah, politics. If it ain't politics, it's something else and it's something else. And, and then they're making else. stupid fucking laws and. Oh yeah. Now we get in trouble for if you offend somebody with a threatening word. I, people are going to be offended and threatened by everything. It's because everybody's and a fucking pussy. I can say the to you and you're like. What did you just call me? It's because, like, the last two generations under us are a bunch of fucking sissies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you guys are offended by every damn thing. We'd say the color red, and you're like, that hurts my feelings. Like, shut up. God, I used to pick on your parents in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they're like that. They're the snowflake generation. Ah, damn, They got man. babied and nurtured. Well, we got thrown out to the wolves to fend for ourselves at fucking I'd 12 be like 13. I am than, <laughs> like they are. Yeah, yeah. To actually know how to survive. Not fucking cry about everything. And what what happens when technology goes to shit? They're not going to have their phone to look shit up, you know? Most of the people can't even fucking work on a car, let it let change a tire. You go, hey, you got a flat tire, can you change it? Line up like 20 dudes. Oh. In different generations, you know, from uh, 18 years old to like 50 years old. Yeah, yeah. Out of those 20, how many think you change a tire? Maybe half. Maybe. And uh, I, I guarantee you, majority of the half is probably older. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Older men that had to do it themselves or that were taught because our parents and their parents taught them stuff like that, taught them real life stuff. That's what parents are supposed to do. Yeah. Not, not just fucking <laughs> baby you and give you a phone to keep you quiet until you get older and then you become even a, an actual adult baby. Yep. 
Because you can't do anything for yourself. No. Because you're sitting there on your phone all the time. Well, I mean, time. yeah, Not you can go on your internet and act Living. tough or, you know, oh, do yeah. your little fucking protests or parades or whatever uh, it is people do to make a statement. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. To but make it's a not. But it's not changing anything. It's not. Nobody because we all have to agree the on The whole it. world would have to agree for everything to change. Whether or at it's least race, whether it's sex, whether it's pollution. Like, if we all don't agree, the whole fucking world, it's never going to change. No, and at least if you don't have the majority of the world wanting to change the issue at hand, that's not. Right. Like you have half the world wants, let's say, fucking plug-in cars. Half doesn't. We're going to be at war all, all the time. Half the world wants guns. Half the world doesn't. We're, we'll be at war. Half the world wants to smoke weed. Half the world doesn't. You know what I mean? Like it's just... Yeah. Just why We're not we... all going to agree on something, but we should all be able to agree that we don't have to agree. Right. It's not Agree to disagree. You can have much. an opinion and just be fine Move with on. it. Yeah. I don't need you to keep telling me about it or hear about it, and I don't have to keep telling you mine. Just you have yours, I have mine, and we shut the fuck up about it. Yeah. Because why? we know we don't agree about it, so it's like, all right, well, we won't talk about it. Yeah. Why can't we just do our <clears> own <throat> things? Like you do your thing, you know, we do our thing over here, and we're good to go. I don't know. Everything's got to be a big fucking spectacle and drama, and offend. Everything's offensive, like everything now. It's fucking ridiculous. Retarded. It is. Can you say? Oh no, it's not retarded anymore. I say redacted. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. How can you not say the word retard? It's retard. It's retard. No, tard. Retard. R e t a r d. Why? It's. Not, I don't know. That's just how it's. You're telling me been. it's retard. Yeah. Not retard. Yes. Retard. Yeah. That sounds retard. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't make up the English First language. First off, I have my own dictionary. We've been over this, so I have all kinds of words that are mine. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. retard yes. is not my word. I know. You are a retard. Okay. You are retarded. So you're telling me it's retar say retarded. Retarded. I know. I I, I didn't make. Up so you're saying retard? Spell retarded. R e t a d t a r d e d. There's no t. Spell in it. retard. R E T A R D. It's retarded. Yeah, you're adding E D just like you do to any other word. That's why I'm saying it. Yeah. Uh, I've been saying it the whole. So I'm so What? I said it right the whole time. No, there's no T. You just spelled it with a T. No, I didn't. There's no T. D. Retarded. D. Spell retarded. R E T at the very beginning. A R D. There's no T at the end. There's still a T in it, though. Yeah. Retarded. I, I don't go retarded. T -t -t. No. <laughs> I said retarded one time. There's reta. The t it's one T. <laughs> I don't know. Some <clears throat> people say retart. You know, like T-A-R-T, -T, like a tart you would eat. Yeah. Because oh, they're yeah. retarded. <laughs> Who made this English language? I have no idea. <clears throat> I don't know. God. There's so many words that are alike, like pair, pair, and pair. There's three different pairs. Live, live. Same thing. Yeah, like it's just it's fucking an stupid. endless battle. That's what it is. And, and you then know, there's I, so many different words now for slang, and you know, people like the guy, you know, the uh, guy I work with, he's younger than me. Like half time he says shit, I don't even know what he's saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like he'll text me like three letters, and I'm like, yeah, like uh, uh, <laughs> I got to sit there and try to figure out what those three letters mean. Cause for I don't the know. most part, I. I <clears throat> I can, I guess, pick up on stuff like that, like what it means. I don't, I don't know how. I don't get it. But Just like top, I didn't know what getting top yeah. was. Like, I'm my days. It was getting head, you know, yeah. getting or getting a blow or job, now, getting dick sucked. Uh, people say where them switches at, which is like what the fuck is that to fuck. Like where them switches at, them girls or guys to bang, just like a one night stand, real quick. What? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Where the hell did you hear that? Uh, in a song, and then <laughs> of course. when I worked at uh, the Amazon over the bigger place, I don't remember where yeah. it was. Uh, there was uh, Alex, that chick I told you about. She was always where saying that. Which is that? Yeah. What? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I don't know. We just called them hoes. Where the hoes at? Where the hoes at? <laughs> uh, they're everywhere. <laughs> they are. Well, I mean. Only fans. Yeah, only, I go mean, back to the uh, first episode. Only fans is ridiculous. Yeah, I get some women having them because you know they're hot. <laughs> make fuck, make money, make money. Right. How are we but gonna make some money? Some of you women that put it out there are uh, you, you should not. Don't do it. 
I don't know who lied to you or what makes you think you can do it. You can't. It's not. But the that, crazy thing that'd is. That'd be like me doing it. It's not. I'm not out there doing it because I'm ugly. I accept that. I actually have a real job. <laughs> but the, the funny thing is, those girls are still going to get views and get money. Because there's going to be somebody out there yeah, that is attracted to Yeah, but imagine what that. that person looks like. Like the, these girls are selling the themselves, thing. right? Even though it's on camera, but some of these girls do like video chats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of these dudes have to be looking creepy the same as way. shit. Yeah, yeah. Have to be. Ugh. I I don't uh, know. I don't get it. It's all you. <laughs> all me. No, not you. It's all them. I like. <laughs> like I said, I got a real job. I've accepted I'm ugly. Nobody <laughs> lied to me. If I can just put my hands on there, is anybody just wanting to look at hands? <laughs> You don't have to see my face or anything. Uh, Plus, I, I don't know. It's just... It's weird to me. I mean, uh, you make money, whatever. But it root Like, nowadays, you know, the guy I work with, like I said, he's younger than me. He, uh... We were talking about dating. Oh, shit. And dating he said it now. sucks now. Like, it sucked before. when just dating in general sucks. You get anxiety about meeting people. Do you hit yeah, it off? Yeah, yeah. There's not much in there. You like I that. like that. You know, but nowadays it's because of so much fucking technology and shit. Uh, it's kind of like ruining dating. Yeah, no, because because everyone wants to be all the everyone wants to be Instagram famous or mm -hmm, TikTok mm -hmm. famous or an Instagram model or whatever. Yeah. And they want you to be the same to be making the money that they're making. Or they want to know if you're them. famous already. Like he's saying, girls will even try to date guys who are famous so they can both be move up with like followers and shit and not even really like be into each other so just like like pretend. fake dating basically to gain fucking followers <clears throat> so like wrestlers would have fake yeah no fake relationships yeah oh shit that's crazy like damn man people are that hard up like you can work a job yeah, it's, it's definitely doable we do it every like, day what happened man it sucks some days you know you don't want to get up and go to work but we still do it yeah but to sit there and be fake as fuck all the time on a no. just to get followers and fans. No. I ain't like no. that never happened. No, I would smile dead. Smile we are dead will never sell be fake. out. No, no, <laughs> not no in this fucking what. lifetime. <laughs> no, this is our own thing. And Nacho, what are you doing? Hey, Nacho. Gotta watch it. We got a new cat. We gotta watch him. He's a uh, nut job. <laughs> so, I think we've talked about it before, but real quick, um, back in January. Yeah, he's uh, not coming. Ryan's mom passed away. Our and uh, Nacho, we took him. So yeah, he's part of us now. No. Yeah. But he's, he is crazy. He's a fucking ginger. Yeah, it was around the time stuff my mom happened. Oh yeah, we found him outside our apartment. Well, uh, isn't fuck. Yeah, it was, Jan oh. it was January. Right? Yeah, it's January. It's super fucking cold. Yeah, because it was around the stuff my mom. He was so little. He had a fucking tick and worms, but we got him yeah, to the vet. He was super him. dirty. Oh god, got him to the vet. Got him neutered. Tick was gone. Worms are gone. We're trying to integrate him with our other cats. I think we've done all right. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They all get along pretty much, for the most part. Uh, yeah. I mean, they don't fight. You know, there's not like fucking cat fights and no. all that type of shit. No, he's spastic though. He's trying to learn life inside. And he's the smallest one. Yeah. He's only about a year old. A little over a year. Nacho! Uh, yep. Cats. But yeah, back busy. to the Instagram and dating and shit like that. Like, <clears throat> uh, I don't get it. I don't know how he just said it's hard because everyone wants to be like famous. There's no real like actual dating somebody. It's always about some kind of ulterior motive. Well, that's trying to get fame, followers, girls. Or he said they just straight up lie and they like, date a bunch of people and shit. <clears throat> Well, yeah, Cheat. because, like, I'm on Instagram and I'm famous and people are checking me out and looking at me. And I'm, if I got this one guy that I can date or, you know, say I'm dating, 
and then just still do all this other shit. Yeah, the girls are going to do it. Yeah. They're going to get, however they get the attention, they don't give a shit. Ain't none of you motherfuckers ever going to find love. No, not doing that type of shit. That's why we have kids we have nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Or even from our generation, people never took shit serious enough, like a relationship or marriage or kids, you know, they never thought about it, they just did it and went with the consequences, whatever happened, happened, they didn't give, they didn't care. I mean, it's just, they're still like that now, I mean, Yeah. just with different things. True. Now they care, oh actually I would say they're the opposite, we care too much, they're, they're offended by everything. They care about everything. Everything fucking is offensive and hurts their feelings. Yeah, it's either one way or the other. You yeah, have, it's uh, the same as we always said. You're either one side or the other. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. everything. <clears throat> Stupid. It is. I, like, we just try and live our life. Do what we can. Look what I don't we even, got. Yeah, we don't even go out much. Like, there's no point. Every fucking day people are shooting each other. Just driving down the street, people get shot. Yeah. Just driving the freeway because they got cut off or whatever. <laughs> you got to worry about if you are just, yeah, sitting at a red light or driving to work, at work. You, you never fucking know. Well, it was just Crazy. like uh, the other day driving to work. The lady cut me off. Mm, yeah. She cut me off and got mad because I went around her. Because uh, she cut me off and then went slow. Yeah, yeah. She definitely did not have enough time to turn out behind no. that bus. And I was already doing the speed limit, coming around that corner. Yeah. So we went around her and got in front of her. And she ended up taking pictures or videotaping our car and license plate for yeah, no reason. Uh, like, for what? <laughs> I mean, you can't see shit. I have dark ass tin in my windows, Hell so yeah. you can't see anything inside. No, but there was no point for her to do that. You know, what is that going to do for you? I don't know. Her name's probably Karen. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't doubt it. She looked Another like a Karen. Karen. She looked like an old Karen. Just take your fucking jalopy minivan with your grandkids that you're raising because your kids that you didn't raise are meth heads. Yeah, pull and out shut the fuck up. with fucking kids yeah. in the car. With your fucking rotten ass grandkids in the car. Lots of people nowadays, though. Or, I mean, look at that guy in Taylor at that motel. Oh, that he killed walked, his girl? Yeah, curled his... Uh, curled. Curled his, curled his <laughs> curled girl. Curled his huh? girl. <laughs> killed his girl and walked up to the cops at the gas station and said, I just killed my girlfriend. I need to go to jail. I mean... <clears throat> I mean, eventually, yes, you will get caught, but... What are we doing? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I don't know. It's gotten worse since COVID happened and then since we got out of the COVID lockdown or whatever bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Holy fuck, did people just, go redacted? People went redacted. And if you don't know what that means, it means retarded, but I can't really say it, so. Redacted. I just don't understand how being quarantined can affect somebody that bad. Like, I loved it. It was I fantastic. Guess because we enjoy being home. I still, you know, we still gotta do what we wanted. We did our normal shit, other than, like. We didn't really go out to eat because everything's no. closed, but, yeah. like. We didn't really eat out that way. That's pretty much when we stopped eating out anyways. Yes. And we, we to stopped. this day, we don't eat. Now no. we really don't eat out. Nothing. No, It's we always home-cooked food. <clears throat> we but, tried uh, pizza, but that's getting a little... It's just original. quality, yeah, which quality. we've also talked yes. about. Quality Last of everything. Food sure. is fucking terrible. I'd rather just make it home-cooked. Fuck yeah. it. At least I know if I fuck it up, it's, I tried, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I can smoke a fatty right before dinner and I don't have to worry about where I'm at or who's, you know, yeah. being in the Pause restaurant. Movie, go to the bathroom real quick. True. I don't know. I like COVID though. Yeah, but I. Uh, Especially, I guess, actually, because uh, I would go grocery shopping and there was like no one there. Yeah. Fucking yeah. dead. Yeah. It's great. We worked, went grocery shopping. We did, like you said, our normal shit. But I, I guess, because we like being home and staying home and you know hanging out here, I don't understand how people are that crazy to go out. They have to be outside. I don't know. It kind of goes along with the concept of being like social, you know, over like you have to be social. You, people have yeah, to talk to people. They have to be friends or have friends. Or, like, I've never been that way. I don't give a fuck. You don't want to be my friend? Don't be my friend. If we're friends, we're friends. Like we hit it. That means we actually are because I'm not going to sit here and be waste my time. I'm not going to try and make a friendship. Yeah. yeah out so of something. If we're friends, then I guess we're friends, you know. Yeah. Like I don't go out of my way to talk to people anymore. 
Just people are trash. People are trash. They're assholes. Smile, we're dead. People are trash. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> they're assholes. Like, uh, you say one nice thing I'm to them, that. and they just want to fucking freak out because they're having a bad day in their life or whatnot. But when I was younger, I, I didn't want a whole <clears throat> lot of friends, but I wanted a close friend, like just one or two, you know, that I can hang out with and just do shit with. Yeah. I'm good hard, now, hard to do now. People are trash. Oh People suck. People suck. <laughs> I've always been the way I am, though. Like, I've never really wanted friends. I've never tried to go out of my way to be social. It's just not mm -hmm. my thing. I don't give a fuck. No, but like you said, if you hit it off with somebody, you know, you. There was a few, like, throughout school, I had a yeah. few random friends that we clicked. But, like, other than that, I don't. I don't even really talk to anybody from high school. I fucking hated high school. Oh my god, I hated high school. I didn't even finish. I finished, but... I got kicked out. I went to an alternative school for my senior year. I tried that for two weeks. Just so that I could uh, just graduate on time and be done with it. Otherwise, I would have had to, I think, do another year. And I, just, I wasn't all for that. I wanted out of high school. I think I was the only one in my family to graduate high school. I don't think my... I know my dad didn't, and I know my brother didn't. I don't know about my mom. I, I want to say she did. She was the only one, but I don't know. No, I hated school. It was the worst. High school was the worst for me. Just the worst time in my life to be going through high school on top of high school. <laughs> I didn't go very much, so... See, if we would have hung out more, then... I would have got you through it. <laughs> I was all either just didn't go, didn't have a ride to school because I didn't live in the city I went to school yeah. in. Yeah, I had to take the bus, so I. <clears throat> or uh, I was suspended, so. And then yeah. I got kicked out, and then my mom put me in an alternative school that lasted about two weeks. And I said, "Fuck this." <laughs> what was wrong with going there? You put me in an alternative school with all the other bad kids, because that's where I mean, all the bad kids go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it's it. It's the same concept, like, I've talked to you and you talked about, not in the podcast, but, like, Just we talked general. about, like, uh, fucking alcoholics. You send them to a meeting with other alcoholics. Or a sex, like, I have a, like, a, what is it, sex drive or sexaholic, what's that word? There's a word for it when you're addicted to sex. Sex uh, addict or whatever. Uh, nympho. Nympho, basically. Yeah. Like, that'd be like me going to a nympho meeting, but other people and there's hot chicks there that are nymphos it's like why would i want to be surrounded with other people that want to fuck i think the concept behind it is to have support they know what you're going well, i'm gonna support them all right <laughs> no 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 see that's why you probably shouldn't be in a meeting like it should be all guys in a meeting no. and all girls in one meeting like no, i want to be part of the girls meeting no see you're going for the to addiction get to get help uh, with the addiction not to actually uh, feed the addiction i want to feed the addiction no <laughs> But same concept, like but I just, the, I don't the, get it. Yeah, the concept behind it is to have support. They know what you're going through and to help each other through it so you don't do that. Support but leads to you guys like crying at each other's shoulders, which leads to filling each other up, then it leads to banging. So you're going to do that with a guy? No, I said I'm going to be in the girls' no, group. No, you're not in the I girls' group. I am going to be in the girls' group. only. No. Yes, females I am the only. leader of this fake scenario we're doing right now. <laughs> you're not <clears> the leader. <throat> oh. But yes, it goes back to that too. Nothing. Everything's trash. Everything. Everything and everyone. Yes, they are. Trashy people. Trashy food. Trashy trash. <laughs> <laughs> Music sucks anymore too. Oh God! All the bands are breaking up. Well, the good ones. Yep. Um. They don't do anything. Or, or it just takes like forever. Or it's just a lot of the bands like uh, that I like. They just didn't get popular enough. Like they yeah, ain't making any money, know. so they had to call it quits. It sucks. Because now you know I've read a lot of articles about bands touring and not making any money and shit like that nowadays. Yeah, now everything is like double to rent a big tour ass buses, bus gas or... prices, trying to <coughs> sell your merch, <laughs> and all that shit. Crazy. And then you said something about venues want a certain percentage of their sales. I read some article, the dude from uh, the singer of uh, Cold. Okay. 
he said that venues are trying to charge bands i think like they want half of whatever they sell like you know out of uh merch like shirts and hoodies and hats or whatever. i saw a hundred dollars worth excuse me yeah, I saw and one you shirt and you want half the fucking money I made off of it? It's bullshit. Yeah. What are you doing, Abby? Friggin' yeah. cats. <clears throat> She's our weirdest. <laughs> Alright, we all, I forgot the... In the second one, we didn't talk about a movie, did we? Oh, I don't know if we did. No, we did. I think we were supposed to talk about one, but I don't... I don't want to do that. Nah. I'm over it. I mean... It's kind of hard, because it's hard to pick a movie, it's hard for us to kind of watch it, we're busy throughout the week, you know, whenever we are trying to do the podcast, usually on the weekends, today's an oddball day, but we're off work today. And it's just kind of lame. Yeah. I don't, you like, weren't really into it. I don't know. But we, I only make this just for me and you, really, I don't mm. I don't yeah, think anyone all. actually is gonna ever listen or like it because it's not like uh, you know it's not a fancy podcast with cameras and fucking ten angles and but that's fine with seven us. microphones like we're like you said we're doing some it guy us. telling me that it sounds good or something right like, right thumbs up behind the scenes just me and, and you <laughs> yeah. if it don't sound good that's I'm watching it it says it's good yeah we usually listen to it afterwards too yeah. well yeah we I don't think we'll ever be that because okay. that's just like selling out. I mean, I might do a camera one day if we ever yeah. got a good one. We have one, but I don't. It just, it's, it's not, not wide enough. Yeah. I need I need a better angle. But Definitely. I don't really give a shit about the camera. Podcast is just bullshit. Yeah. People like it, they like it, they don't, they don't. Then fuck you. Don't listen. Yeah. I don't know why you listened all the way to now, like I said before. Yeah. Yeah, so that's our day. We're probably going to be playing some video games here pretty soon, huh? What yeah, make some with? burgers. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Well, not right now. Burgers. No. It's early. No. I was going to say, <laughs> it's only 10.30. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to play. Got my dealership game. Oh, shit. Car you, simulator salesman. Car sales simulator. Whatever. Car for sales simulator. Use salesman. Use sale cars. <laughs> Al Borland. Al Borland. Uh... But I'm gonna try to fill that up with cars. It's empty. Yeah. And oh. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Ow. You just bought the bigger lot. <coughs> Bless you, right? The biggest one. Oh, I'm sinuses. Yeah, we gotta take our allergy pills. Uh. <coughs> yeah, I did buy the biggest lot. It was like 750 grand. How many cars do you think you could fit in it? I don't know. Haven't, huh? Let's see. Last one we got. Tw I don't know. The last one you got what? Maybe like 20, 20 cars, twenty five cars. Ooh, we'll see. I don't even know if I have enough money to buy that many cars. Not yet. You're gonna have to build it up first, probably, or buy some like a lot of cheaper ones, a few, a few expensive ones, and build up your money. Huh? Yeah, I might play that, or I might play. Uh, I don't know, wrestling or something. I really need to play some car mechanic. I want to play Tex Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my god. Next but they'll come out to August. Next month. I already got it pre downloaded on the Xbox. Yep, I did too. Right. Yep. But I definitely. Car mechanic. I want to tr try to finish The Evil Within, but I'm stuck, so. You're doing Nacho. Nacho, you're right, Ashes. You're right, Abby. <laughs> Freaking cats. Five of them. My babies. So, yeah. Car mechanic. I told you I was addicted yesterday. Yeah. I've you were playing it a lot. I got a couple cars in my garage I gotta finish up. One's a big job, so it's gonna take forever. I had to literally take that whole engine apart. Again too boring for me ever since i bought the expansion to my garage i've gotten <clears throat> jobs with engines that i have to take apart should have never did it yeah it's too boring sorry <laughs> okay it's just too boring for me. maybe if they had better music like yeah. while you're doing it like they have this uh, shitty ass soundtrack. music soundtrack what used to do that on the playstation baseball right? mlb the show yeah 
They don't do it no more in there either. And I thought on the PlayStation 2 or 3, you could add your own music to it and like do a, a playlist kind of like we would. That was uh, PlayStation 3. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm still angry with Steve Eisman. Good old GM oh, of Detroit Red Wings, too. Here we go. Look, look. Listen. This fool went out and signed Justin Hall. Okay. 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 If anyone doesn't know who Justin Hall is, yes, you don't me, watch hockey if you don't know who this fool is. He played up for Toronto, another team that we also like. Yep. What I say he was like six foot three? Yeah, he's big. He's two hundred something pounds, right? Mm -hmm. Big guy. He doesn't play physical at all. That's just not how he wanted to play hockey. Justin Hall is is uh, basically we we went from Ken Holland mm -hmm. signing stupid Erickson, mm -hmm. Jonathan Erickson. Erickson just he was a about. Red Wings defenseman. Look him up, idiots. Look him up. If you don't know who it is, You're not a Red Wings fan. He was only thing Erickson was good for was throwing hands, and he couldn't even do that great. He could mm. throw them all right, just because he was a big dude. But he his, could. Erickson was terrible on defense. He could not skate backwards. His problem was skating in general, being on his feet on Boy skates. Boy fell he all the not. time. So now, uh, good old Steve Eiserman, I don't know if he took a Holland uh, red blue pill or something. Holland <laughs> slipped him a pill. I was like, yeah, this is how you're supposed to GM. Because this whole <laughs> free agency go. is, I don't understand it. I don't. I and don't I've been on the know. board for the Eiserman plan for, since he's been yes. here. I was very yes. excited. This is the first year I'm questioning what the hell are we yes, doing. Yes, actually it is. The first year that the Justin heard. Hall thing is chapped my ass. I don't understand. It's like I can't even. There's so many defensemen. There was Luke Shin. There was uh, fuck man. I can't say his name. Ruda Rudolph. He played in Florida. I know who you're talking about. He but went to uh, man. Where did he go? He went to Nashville. Anaheim. I think he went to Anaheim. Okay. But there's like four other defensemen that we could have got. And then on top of that, if you've watched any Red Wings games last season. Any team we played that was bigger than us, like Tampa or Boston, us. they threw us around, pushed us around like fucking, we were little kids. Yeah, it did look like that too. So instead of Eisman signing Justin Hall, he should have went out there, Ryan Graves, that was one of the other defensemen, he should have went out there and got a Ryan Reeves or a Milan Lucic or a, what's the other guy, Tanner Janot or Janot, so there's another guy out there, yeah, he's yeah, a scrapper yeah. too. Like we need some kind of physical presence. We do not have it. No. Nope. No one on this team has it. Where's Darren McCarty? Yeah, can we get him back out there? He'll do it. <laughs> He'll throw hands. But yeah, like, I'm, this is the first year I've I've wavered on Eisenman. I'm yeah. a, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna let it see what happens. I watched him do his little GM thing. I listened to it, talk about why he signed everyone that he thinks serve whatever. Just give him a minute. I've watched Justin Hall play hockey for in Toronto. How many times have we watched Toronto games? I understand that, but I know how he plays. Look how sometimes some players can switch to a different team, and they do better. Oh, it's with God. any sport that happens. Okay. Just then why, why did we not get Ryan Reeves? <clears throat> a Ryan Reeves in a Red Wings jersey would have been fucking awesome. We would have been taken more seriously. Telling you. Oh well, yeah. Look at what Dangle was saying. Now look at Toronto though, because oh, that's God. another team. We like for three teams, I'm watching out for. I'm saying it now. This since the season even started, Detroit I've Red Wings two. is always a given. Yes. Toronto Maple Leafs is always my second given. Yep. And the third this year for me. Actually, I liked them last year. That's when I started watching them really and getting into them was uh, Carolina Hurricanes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are my three teams this year: Carolina, Detroit, Toronto. A fourth wild card is I. I, I do like Pittsburgh. Because they got yeah. the Kyle Dubas from, uh, he's G old GM in Toronto. I want to see how they do. I definitely am saying Detroit, Toronto, and I'm not sure of my other team yet. Okay. I got to look at some stuff. But Toronto, holy oh, shite. Oh my god. They went out there and got old boy Bertuzzi. Yep. When I got my other boy Domi that I liked. It. <laughs> Why did, we <laughs> what is Arzerman doing? Why didn't he not sign Domi? Why didn't he not sign Tuzi? Why didn't he not sign Ryan Reeves? Tuzi, I can see maybe because he didn't want to try and like... Everybody loves Tuzi in short. Yeah, but I, maybe he didn't want to feel like he gave him away and he's bringing him back and giving him away and bringing him back type of thing. You know, like back and forth with him. Like he's just a fucking piece of meat. <laughs> I mean... I mean, they kind of are that way. The contracts and all that type of shit, but... But, I mean, the money he paid some of these guys that he brought here, Eisenman, this a couple days ago... Yeah. 
Bertuzzi got a one year five point five million dollar deal. We could easily gave him that to him. That's true. I can hear. But like here's a three just even like here hey, let's do a three year deal, Tuzzi. Two to three year deal, five million. Yeah. Four and a half. He wants five point five, I'll give you five. I'll give you five point two. Or whatever. Yeah, right, right. right. It's something, something. I don't know. Other than what I said about him just being a piece of meat back and forth. I mean, he's not helping himself, though. He went from Detroit. Now he went to Boston for half a year, and then he went. He's a free agent. Now he's in Toronto for one year. I mean, if it does good, he could resign early. Right, you know, right. If he, maybe he's looking for a good fit for himself, too. Maybe that's why he's taking shorter contracts. Then he went out and got Domi. Oh, yeah. He was on our team recently. Not like in the past couple of years, but wasn't he at one point on our team? No? Max Domi? Yeah. No. Then he's never been a Red Wing. I wish. No. I fucking I he wish. Was at one point for a real short time. No, I wish. I would have had that jersey. No way. But he's back where his dad played, right? Yeah, Ty Domi played in Toronto his whole career. I don't know, most of his career? That's where most of his like yeah. biggest things, fights and all that shit happened. There's actually a picture Max Domi shared. Uh, it was sitting on his dad's lap in his locker with his Toronto gear. His dad's wearing his yeah. Toronto shit back in the 80s. Yeah, whatever... Whatever, 90s, whatever it was. Time it was, yeah. Hmm. I said going home or whatever. Right. But yeah, Toronto's about to be a beast. They got, now the now they're going to have, if they can, well, if they can get, they're, they're kind of tight on money and they still haven't got Nylander signed. I don't really yeah. like Nylander. I've always traded him I in hockey. I think he's overrated, but that's me. I just don't think he's that good. I've seen, like, there's, I don't remember how many games we watched, but there's a game, I think, in the playoffs here this year or last year. Where I watched him go into the corner, instead of fighting for the puck when he should have been aggressive trying to help the team, he just like stopped. He gave up. He just stopped and then watched the other team take the puck. And then yeah, he, just watched him. Do I don't anything. know. He just is like lackluster sometimes. Effort. Especially you're sitting here saying you want ten million dollars or some Ooh. shit. You ain't no fucking. First off, you're not Austin Matthews. You're no. not gonna make ten million dollars. You're not even a Mitch Marner at this point. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, that's a burn. <laughs> He's not. Mitch Marner does bit. I think he's better than Nylander. I think actually Marner stepped up this year a lot more. Like not that he was lacking anything that I can think of offhand. The thing is, uh, like my thing with Austin Matthews is the dude can play hockey, but my deal is with Austin Matthews is that he doesn't. He's not physical. Like yeah. even when people go after him, like he doesn't want to fight. Like dude, people are picking on you basically. That's what. Uh I just heard who said that dango was dango, talking about yeah yeah but now dango's all excited because not only if you go to mess with austin matthews obviously ryan reeves is going to be all over you oh yeah and if it's not him now you have to worry about Tuzi being all over you because oh. i i know we know Tuzi. yeah yeah if, we, we he played on the wings for a long see. time yeah. yeah if you went after our boys he came after you especially yeah. larkin oh yeah and then if you ain't got Tuzi coming after you, Domi will be coming after you because he'll yeah. throw hands. Yeah. Like, you bro, watch out. Well, I think on all teams, <clears> they <throat> all have, like, their softer players. They all have their fighters, you know. But I feel like our whole Red Wings, the whole team is soft. We have no fighters. We have no... We, Giovanni Smith was it. Yeah. And they traded him, and now he's in San Jose. Yeah. Like, we don't have... We had don't Dylan know. McGrath in the minors, but he went to fucking Washington. Fuck. Like, we ain't got nobody. I don't know. We're in trouble. Well, we still have time to... Who are we going to go get? I don't know. We still have time to do something. I'm sure. Have hope. <laughs> then Zidane is, uh, he's oh, out yeah, of here. He's on waivers. Yeah. It's a, it was 24 he, hours, Yeah, right? if you don't if get he claimed, he'll just go to Grand Rapids. Okay. Well, I guess yeah. that's, that's my rant about hockey for now. <laughs> There'll be for many more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's just starting. So I'm still on board, but barely. He's pushing my buttons. Justin Hall thing. I'm. I'm oh man. I'm not happy about that one. That's the worst it, one out of everyone. Listen, listen, Linda. Worst one. He's got to have some type of plan. I'm sure. Okay. Way it better start kicking in this year. I want to see some significant increasing I of really hope so. fucking scoring for one. For the We're fans. one of the worst scoring teams in hockey. Yes. We need goals. Not just with the fans, like for us, hoping that they do better, but I hope the team in general does better for themselves. And Larkin, oh boy, you're making eight and a half million or some shit this year, I think it starts. Yeah. Eight, and a half, eight or eight and a half million. Is it's eight something. Eight point something. Ridiculous for sure. amount of money. You better step up, boy. 
I want to see some Austin Matthews type fucking playing this year. Please. Or uh, what's the other guy? Connor McDavid. Yeah. Play like him, that'd be great too. I don't really like Connor McDavid though. He's a good hockey player. I just don't yeah. like him. I don't know. Something about him I just don't like. That's fine. I like Austin Matthews more, but I don't like that he doesn't fight. Yeah. Like, even when they're just in his face, he just, if, like, takes it. It's like, come on, dude. Yeah. Get mad. <laughs> Be angry. <laughs> Maybe it's... It, he's like me. It takes forever to push my buttons. Play, I should have played hockey. You should have. I would have been all over them, boys. Even though... Yeah, if, even if they were messing with my teammates, I would just jump on them. Yeah, you would. <laughs> You'd be like Tuesday. It'd be great. Yeah. But, yeah. It's pretty much what our podcasts are always going to be about. Just random whatever yeah. fuck we want to talk about. Anything and everything. Basically, yeah. Whatever. Wow. What now? I'm gonna play some video games. Smoke some weed. Oh yes. Oh, I wanna finish my triple chocolate coffee. We gotta figure out what to call this one. Oh yeah, triple chocolate coffee. But we didn't really say anything about it. I just said. You can't just say it and then call it that. That's yeah. stupid. No. What? What about triple chocolate coffee? It's so good. Why is it good? Because it's triple chocolate. I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Head her up. I you guys want to do a commercial? She'll nail it. Yeah. I love it. Triple chocolate coffee. Sounds weird. Triple chocolate. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're going to call it triple chocolate coffee. Okay. But I like other chocolate coffee. It doesn't have to be just triple chocolate. So you like the doubles too then? Oh yeah. Single chocolate coffees? Yeah, or like the mocha. <laughs> Mocha chocolate? Do you say mocha chocolate or is it no, just mocha? Just, just mocha, because mocha is chocolate. I can't call something mocha chocolate? No. Well, I mean, you could, but it <laughs> sound redacted. It's going to sound redacted? Yep. No, it's going to sound retard. Oh, sorry. Retard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. Alright, well. Whatever. That's all I did. If you I'll like you it, subscribe. If not. Yeah. Don't listen. Yeah. You listen for like 40 something minutes and this whole time you didn't like it. That's pretty fucking stupid. It is. Like, that's just a waste of your Can time. Can you just thumbs up it, please? You're not going to get those minutes back of your life. I just took those from you. You did. Wasting your <gasps> time. You're like, they're God now. You're taking your time from them. Don't <laughs> uh, get me started with God. Ah, oh, you're like Amazon then. You're taking my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. That's yeah. it. Just listen if you don't, then Car fuck mechanic. off. mechanic. Car mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm the car sales mechanics. You're like a my car plane? salesman. I'm a salesman cars <laughs> while she fixes them. And then I fix them. I wish it was like that. I told you that. But yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. Bye.